Hello guys and welcome back to TSPEC TV and to the 2021 LRO show. Right behind me is Boris the Defender, a rather well-known defender over on Instagram and now YouTube, in fact. Let's go find Jack and take a closer look at Boris. Hi, oh, yeah, all right. Hello everyone from TSPEC TV, all the fans over there. I'm Boris, this is, well, I'm not Boris, I'm Jack. This is Boris the Defender. I'm on Instagram and YouTube. I've been a big fan of TSPEC for a while. And uh, Liam just wanted to have a little look around the truck. So what I basically do with it, I daily it and I uh, you know, like to go on camping adventures and uh, a bit of off-roading and it's a bit of a hard combination because what I want to do is keep it looking quite like nice and retro with a bit of an adventure feel but then also off-road it as well so it gets pinstriped and then I try and clean it up and bring it to show so it sort of covers everywhere as you can see on the inside it's sort of kitted out as a sort of nice sort of daily driver, I've actually cleaned it for once, I've got the Exmoor trim bits in here and it's still loud even though I spent the last two years trying to insulate it. Got all the mod cons and wooden dashes and everything like that. Uh, as you can see, sort of like off-roady mud tyres. You know, taking it off-road you need to have a quite good kit and um, they're pretty good on the road as well. It's a, a great sort of mix of adventure and daily and show and trying to make it pretty much work everywhere. Obviously ORE will carry you if you've seen my channel and you've seen Liam and Nessa's channel, they've definitely got a lot of that great kit and um, got the awning on the back here as well for uh, cooking and camping, you've got the reversing lights as well and uh, again more modifications here and there and just sort of slowly, I don't think you can call it a rolling restoration but a rolling, trying to keep it rolling and going on the road is generally my style that I like to go for really and I don't know if we can see into the back, it might be a bit dark in there. I hope it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it should be fine. Sort of got it kitted out as a sort of, I don't like the word glamping, but it's definitely a, a less... I mean, it uh, looks very cosy. Yeah, it's definitely cosy. It's a, a small double, it's good for me, and then me and Sophie go on little trips sometimes. We've got the uh, battery set from Jack Root, which is a, instead of doing like a split charge, I just um, like to have that in the back instead. I've got water here got a bit of storage. A lot of the things I sort of rushed when I first got it when we went to France which is a bit of a, a shame because now two and a half years later I've still got the rushed sort of carpentry I did back then which is a bit of a shame but yeah it works for me. I've um, got this drawer system in, in here. There is all the food stuff, tortillas, bar stickers like that and uh, yeah it works pretty well. It's sort of just ever evolving and ever stopping it from rusting into pieces basically and uh, yeah it works as a, as a great truck really it's a, a nice combo of sort of daily driver as i said before camping and on off-roader and it's, it's good fun it's good fun and what about engine mechanical any mods done there yeah we can have a look at that actually let's do a little speed up so yeah i didn't actually clean in here at all for the show i did put some like degrees on and then i forgot to clean it off so it probably like eroded all the rubber in here we got a 300 tdi not original we swapped it out about mm, six months ago the old one was like losing compression so we got another one here this one's got 130,000 miles and the head's actually uh, got 30,000 miles from a military defender it's got the dual intake from 4B over here, sort of splits it, makes it much more sort of flat uh, sort of intakes. So it's much more uh, smooth air intake apparently. It's got the grip part uh, high flow air filter and a few silicon bits here and there. Hybrid turbo, uh, sort of matched with the full Ali Sport front intercooler, it sort of stretches the w all the way across like uh, the TD5, and that's uh, yeah, sort of. Gives it a bit more grunt because I've got the 33 inch tyres which are bigger and got a 1.2 transfer box which makes the top speed a bit higher, better for the motorway but pulling off and going off-roading it's a bit sluggish lower down but yeah goes well and I don't know if I should show this very much but on the way here, <laughs> not on the way, just before I got here I uh, installed this with these two screws, a little bit of a uh, bike brake cable and that's wired into an ex-military defender choke cable so you can actually hold the revs and quite scarily have cruise control. But that's, yeah, that's the, <laughs> the setup really. We might cut that if that's um, not very good for the internet. But that's, yeah, that's the, that's the general setup really. It's pretty good, yeah. Any other questions, Liam? I have you? one question right. that right. I have to know the answer to. Okay. Why Boris? Why the name Boris? Oh God, it's not very exciting at all. And it's not Boris Johnson, I can tell you that, because he wasn't <laughs> Prime Minister when we when I got him. It was actually just uh, sitting around, around literally at my friend's house, 
picked Boris up, got back and we just li went through a list of names and just went no, 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 and we just said Boris and it just worked and it just stuck, made the Instagram and uh, the rest is history, it's whatever his... Yeah, exactly, no. well I wouldn't change it anyway, yeah. A lot of people call me Bojo which uh, is a bit of a, either an insult or compliment, who knows. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good, it's a good truck, but I'm in, enjoying just sort of using it, I think that's why people like it, you know, I, I brush paint it and hammer it things and uh, get under it to make sure it runs well and uh, have good people around me to support the truck and uh, good mechanics to help me keep it going and it's a, it's a good project, it's stressful at times but again it's like owning a Land Rover as most of you probably know is uh, stressful but it's uh, you can't explain it to people that don't understand and it's a, it's a good experience I actually absolutely love it yeah it's a brilliant hobby and that's why we're here that's why it's nice to meet Liam and it's nice to be here on a nice sunny day it's, it's definitely great. been getting a lot of attention <laughs> yeah well that's we it. struggled even to find a moment to <laughs> no, yeah so. everyone comes around that's the thing like people come over and like talk about it and like, ask questions and it can turns out that they know it so like they don't like to say straight away that they know it's Boris but then they it comes out of the woodwork further down the line and it's uh yeah it's great it's nice because you put the work in you know over the years and you try and um, get it looking to sort of the standard you want it and it's nice to get the sort of like people recognize it and like it and it's a uh, it's a good it's a good thing to come to I love shows like this it's my first time here did billing earlier in the year and it's uh, nice to finally get the rounds done with the with the show which is it's brilliant and it's great to be on the ORE stand thanks to Chris for having us here me and Liam and uh, yeah having a brilliant day it's really really cool and any other future mods planned future mods oh, it's, it's ever going but um, uh, you know in the future I'd maybe like a, an engine swap potentially uh, definitely need a, a winch on here because I've been stuck a few times and had to be saved so going off so roading I know someone has made a winch bumper oh really yeah. hmm there is there's there somebody okay well maybe that would be a little uh, future project then hopefully maybe getting a, a winch bumper on there because I also know someone that makes a really nice one it is uh, <laughs> very nice indeed <laughs> yeah it's a good one yeah that was uh, I think that's maybe maybe that's the next thing is a uh, winch bumper and winch would be really really cool that'd be great yeah that'd be brilliant well awesome thank yeah. you so much yeah hey, you're welcome. Sharing, well, thank you for. I hope everyone out there likes it. And uh, as I said before, I've been a big fan of Tearsbeck for a, a long time, and it's great to hopefully be, if I make the cut, <laughs> be on the video and uh, show you around. And uh, well, don't want to do too much of a plug, but I'm also on YouTube, so if you want yeah, to hang. Yeah, no, I will. Uh, I'll put links in the description below to your one of those, Instagram, yeah. and you also have a YouTube channel as well. Yeah, where you've got that'd, be, great that'd be brilliant. So. Yeah, yeah. I need to get some more videos, so more videos coming soon. And yeah, it's great. To, uh, yeah, it's great to be a part of the community. It's brilliant. So thanks, everyone. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you. Nice one.